Fox Chapel has a standalone fab lab where uh, high school kids can come and build really anything that they, they can think of, uh, whether they're using a 3D printer, a vinyl cutter, a CNC machine, uh, or any of the other tools that we have in there. Uh, but a mobile fab lab, what that does is it takes all those things I just mentioned, puts them in a small space, and then it goes on the road. It hitches to a truck, it rolls down the road, we show up at an elementary school, and we put a classroom right outside. Kids actually designed, built, and put together the entire lab. Uh, and then on the inside, they were able to do all the unique things you need to do in a tiny house. I learned now how to build a house. And like, it's so cool, because you learn all these different things that you've never learned before. Now I know how to wire a house. Now I know how to build a house. Now I know how to put walls and lights and roofing. We had to put all the outlets in, the wiring, the speaker system, put the loft in. Students very early on in their educational careers uh, need opportunities to um, fail and think about how they persevere and persist through those failures. So as kids engage in the marshmallow challenge or they engage in some of the experiences that they're working on within the, the Fab Lab experience, not everything is going to turn out as planned. So how do they iterate? How do they refine? How do they revise? And how do they really begin to think about how they solve problems? The hardest part pretty much was making a boat because I had to, because it always fell apart. I made it a marshmallow tower with toothpicks and some marshmallows. And there were six people and there's a group with girls and a group with boys. We won because we made the tallest and we made the stablest. The boys lost because theirs fell down. And when they're out here, they're then seeing, oh, okay, I'm applying something that I've learned before, but now I'm learning also in a different setting. They're actually just realizing, oh, okay, these are skills that I've never thought I would learn to use, and then putting it into practice immediately, which is helpful, as opposed to pencil paper or researching and looking something up and then not actually using it you know, for a longer period of time. This was right in the moment. They were learning skills. You know, some of them have never sanded anything. They've never done anything like that or used, I heard today, um, I've never used a hammer. I've never used a mallet. So skills that they were actually taught and then put right into action. We need to create kids that are risk takers, that are makers, that are designers and engineers early on in their, in their learning career. We want to instill a love of learning from the moment they walk into our doors. The Fox Chapel Area School District is committed to growing students. And we need to grow students in various content areas, various domains, really various ways. And one of the ways that we really want to grow students is by making sure that we are preparing them not for the jobs that exist in today's day and age, but for the jobs that exist in the future. And whenever we look at organizations and companies that are successful and growing at a dynamic, exponential rate, we see qualities like emergent leadership, ability to collaborate, ability to look at a problem differently from multiple angles and tackle that problem. And these are all components and characteristics of engineers. We had to learn about aesthetics, balance, and structure. We learned about those so we could build the things for our boats, our marshmallow towers, and our boxes and our t-shirts. We had to learn about all of those before we came here. At the Fox Chapel Area School District, we're thankful for the support of the Grable Foundation and Remake Learning. They've empowered our high school students to create the Fab Lab, which is supporting five different area school districts with innovative learning opportunities.